Well, hello everybody. It's it's uh, nearly Halloween. By the time you see this, it probably will have already passed. But anyway, we we we've got Happy Meal and updates and whips and you know just. Get her brain to this, this, yeah. So check it out, see what we got, and um, yeah, and, and have a have a happy, safe Halloween. I hope you had a happy. I don't know. I'll see, I'll see you at the end. Well, hello again, everybody. It is Sunday, October 24th, and I finished uh, this last night. World's Away. Oh, sorry. Um, finished that last night. Love it. Absolutely love it. And it's time to, you know, put away all the leftover drills on that one. And this is my progress on Elizabeth. I am up to the line of her dress and absolutely loving that one as well. I don't know that I'm going to bring that one downstairs to work on because I just have a little tiny table. It wasn't even easy doing that one on that little TV tray thing. So this might have to stay upstairs and uh, just work on it while I'm working my job. But I absolutely love this. It's gorgeous. Love the colors. Love, love the colors in this one as well. I'm really enjoying it. So, where are we at? Um, let's see here. Hey, I had this a long time ago. This was that hot lamp I bought on clearance and thought I could fix it and it didn't work. So, hey, what did I do? I, I took the selfie stick that HeckGyver had given me and I duct taped it to it. So now, that's my new... <laughs> camera stand awesome and I've got my easel out ready to start painting I would love to start on that today and I reorganized my closet because of all the stuff I got so it's it's getting there got a lot of things to frame um, but anyway yeah that's where we're at right now and uh, what else I don't think there's anything else. Got my candle, my wax melts going. Thank you so much, Jackie. Really appreciate that. And um, I think that's really kind of it. Don't have a whole lot else going on as far as whips and finishes. Um, yeah, and I finished the seashell letter. So, we're getting there. We've only got three more to go. And, um, yeah, that's really kind of it. It's really it. I don't know what painting I'll start next. Well, I'm going to probably do the paint by numbers next. But um, I do have a uh, Christmas one to start soon. That uh, snowman one. Yeah. Can you uh, throw the clothes in the dryer when they're done? Of course. Done? Thank you. I'm ready to go to the warehouse. Right? Okay. Have fun. So I think that might be coming up pretty soon, November. And um, I've got a few little ones that would be good for downstairs. So we'll see what I do next. I don't know. They're all stacking up because it's not uh, it's not in the budget to be buying any frames right now. So we'll work on that. But yeah. Um, but yeah, that's that's pretty much it. I've got I've got uh, plenty to keep oh, plenty to keep me busy for a while. And I see that one of my pictures is crooked there. I need to fix that. 
Still haven't gotten a ladder up here to scatter the shells up higher. It's, you know, rather tight in here as far as the furniture <laughs> to pull out that bed and get a ladder behind it to put the shells around, but yeah. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I think, I think, uh, oh, I could do that. The, uh, unexplained mysteries too but anyway oh I see feet what is that sticking out of there hi beeps How long do you think you'll be gone? Okay. Yeah. All right. Can you put a trash bag in? Absolutely. You know, the two of you are like chomping at the bit to get in here and then you lay by the door you can't wait to get out. There you go. As soon as I let you out, you're going to want to come back in again. I just know it. Or not. Okay, go use the litter box. Is anybody else's, um, I know a lot of people keep their litter box in their bathroom. Anybody else's cat always go potty when you go potty? Mine does. Weirdos. All right, well, anyway, the girls are still still alive and well, and somebody's using the facility. So that's it for this one, short one. Okay, see you later, guys. Oh. A little bit of a mess in cleaning. Get all hair going in every direction. Hello, everybody. It is uh, Friday, October 30th. Tomorrow's Halloween. Um, happy Halloween. Anyway, I've got a little bit of happy meal. Now, this one, Jackie told me don't bother opening it on video because it's prescription bottles. But hey, let's check them out. Thank you, Jackie. She also mentioned that um, some of them they had uh, um, previously in use for things that she was afraid that maybe a drug sniffing dog might get <laughs> Anyway, Ooh, look at that. Lots of them. Oh, fantastic. I'm glad there is you. Have fun, Jackie. Thank you, Jackie. Look at all these. All right, perfect. All different sizes love some of these sizes awesome thank you so much really appreciate it all right and then I got this um, from uh, Stephen Donna Lawson hi Wendy hope these work for you my daughter bought two diamond paintings for my granddaughter's 10th birthday um, grand is coming to spend the weekend with us and bring them so I can help her kit them up. I think the diamond painting world may have a new convert, Donna Lawson. Ooh, okay, so she's she's contributing to the uh, hoarder letter. We've got some uh, trinkets here. Let's check these out and see what we got. All right, so it's a, a pendant. Nice. Here's 
an odd earring. That's very pretty. There's a little pin. Oh, is that cute? Little scissors pin. That would make great needle minder. And a pretty little butterfly earring. Oh, I love them. Thank you so much, Donna. I'm excited to have you um, participating in the uh, decorating of the hoard letter. And got to say, loving all the smells here. Really digging it. Oh, now Lily wants to come in and say hello. Let me go get her. Let her in. Oh, scissors. Okay. Come on, baby girl. Come on. You gonna come say hello? Alright. Um, what's new? Uh, we are going to attempt to track a budget. Um, was it Elizabeth? Was it you who recommended the budgeting to zero information? Anyway, I did a, I did a Google search for an app that's for budgeting for couples so that we can both have the same app on our phones to track everything. And I found Zeta. So I downloaded that today and linked up all of my stuff, just waiting for him to link up his. And I figured we have the rest of the year to practice keeping track and hopefully for 2021 we will be um, tracking everything to, to try and get our finances under control and budgeting them. Um, let's see here. What else? Um, oh, uh, my supervisor went to a different department, so I have a new supervisor, and we had our first team meeting since I joined his team. And... Uh, one of my old um, cube mates sat in my cubicle um, is now on my same team and he said how's your online thing going and I'm like you mean my YouTube channel and of course the supervisor just piped up now this is all virtual meetings so everybody's on the phone you got a YouTube channel what is it and I'm like uh 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 no no it, it started out with crafts but now it's Way too personal for all my coworkers to be, you know, watching this. But yeah. So anyway, I didn't, I didn't want everybody at work, like all up in my business. So anyway, um, it's a beautiful day today. I was hoping we'll go for a bike ride later. He's um, just got back from working on that trailer. I guess he found a potential buyer for it. So he's trying to get it up and going again. I think a lot of the gaskets and stuff have dry rotted so he's working on it to get it operational again and now it's time for a nap after that but um he and i did watch a really funny youtube video the other night and i shared a little snippet of it on the gone off my meds facebook group uh, weatherman <laughs> kind of just off the cuff but it was really very funny it was like um I can't remember the name of it exactly. I'll share the link to it in the video description, but it was really, really funny. These, it was like newscast funny moments or something like that, but that was pretty funny. And I have a new obsession. Um, I had mentioned before that I had started listening to True Crime Garage, and I had gotten, like, really enthralled in the West Memphis 3 case, and that then ended up me watching all the movies that went along with it, and a podcast that got really in-depth on that case, like, spent, I don't know, six months with episodes investigating the whole thing. Anyway, so now I'm obsessed with this new podcast that does these in-depth, deep dives into specific cases where they think that it could be a wrongful conviction. And I'm sure lots of you have already heard of it, but it's Truth and Justice. And it's basically a crowdsourcing investigation for determining if something is a wrongful conviction. So I listened to the whole season of the West Memphis Three, and then they had to stop 
and switch gears because something was going on, I'm assuming, in the court system. And then they started another season, which is the uh, um, Sandra Melgar, who was uh, convicted of killing her husband. They had um, gone out for their anniversary and came home and took, you know, gotten the jacuzzi together to celebrate. And um, he got up because the dogs were barking to let them in. And she got up and went to go, you know, change into her nightie or whatever for some romance. And, and she woke up on the floor tied up in her closet and they had um, barricaded the door of her closet with a chair under the doorknob and the whole deal, and she got convicted of the murder. And I'm like, how in the hell did she tie herself up and lock herself in the closet with a chair up against it and all this? So anyway, now I'm deep into that. Uh, but yeah, he basically does two weekly episodes for several months, and they get into every little nit and picking thing about it and it's fascinating and i really want to just kind of catch up to current day because they just started a new case just recently like maybe a month or so ago and i would love to be listening to the current episodes to participate anyway it's truth and justice podcast and they've got a Facebook page and a website and they have all the case documents that you can view yourself and look at all the photographs and and interact with everybody to try and you know propose you know ideas or alternate suspects and all this and it's really kind of cool you know crowdsourcing armchair detective work so I thought that was super cool if any of you are already like into that and listen to that let me know because I think it's really cool. I'm just listening to stuff from so long ago that I can't participate. So I need to get current with that one so I can, you know, join in on the uh, investigation of what they're working on now. So anyway, that's what I've been like obsessed with lately. And um, I'll show you where I'm at on my whips because I'm whipping away. So let me show you those. Almost done with the... Uh, with Elizabeth here. So let me see here. Yeah, I just have the bottom, like, I don't know, eight inches left to do of her. And I haven't done any more of this since I recorded it. I think I think it was silent for a book. I'm not sure. And then I have that uh, um, pink flower one downstairs that I will take you down and show you. But since he's down there and he's going to be napping, I'm going to I'm going to pause this and just you know not walk through the house. All right. Well, that's about it. I. Uh, Got a lot of editing to do. I recorded so many videos last weekend and I only posted however many I posted. So I still have a bunch to do. One thing I do want to do, I need to make myself a recording area. You know, with the soundproofing stuff for recording the book. Because it sounds terrible. You know, the kids bought me that microphone for Christmas. But I don't like the way it sounds from my closet <laughs> so I need to figure something else out it actually sounds I think almost better when I record just on the phone and it's so much easier than trying to boot up the laptop and set all that shit up and then transferring the files from the laptop to my phone it's just easier to record on my phone so anyway um yeah I need to figure something out with that I could just use like comforters or something hang them up in the closet and sit in there. But, all right, I'm going to get going and uh, hope you're all having a great, great day and a great weekend and whatever day it is by the time I get this out. Love you all. And don't forget, if you want to send me any pers empty prescription bottles, the orange ones with caps or 
um, oddball trinkets, jewelry, whatever, to decorate another letter on my hoarder sign. Much appreciate it. Just email me at goneoffmymeds at gmail.com or message me on Facebook Messenger or, you know, join the Facebook group and I can, you know, touch base with you there and give you my address. So anyway, um, love you. Bye. Okay, so, um, again, if anybody, um, liked this video, seek professional help. If anybody wants to send us your crap, reach out to Wendy. And if anybody wants to, um... I don't know. I don't know. Just, you know, thumbs up and leave a comment because we love comments. Okay, love you guys. Bye.